Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Derek Nider. Thanks for joining us as he walks us through the pages of Scripture with a daily word of insight and encouragement. Hey, we're in Isaiah chapter 46 today. If you have your Bibles, go ahead and open up to Isaiah chapter 46. We're in verse 4. Verse 4, let me um, pray for us. Glad that you're with me for a minute today as we can jump into the Holy Scriptures. Man, the Word of God, it endures forever. So good to read. Let me pray for us. Father, thank you, God, that whether we're old or young, you, you're, you're good and you're faithful. You have a plan. Um, you carry us all the way through, God. And we bless your name for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, verse 4 says, Even to your old age I am he, and to gray hairs I will carry you. I've made and I will bear. I will carry and I will save. I have made and I will bear. I will carry and will save. You know, we have a, a younger demographic that um, is leaning into these daily devotionals, which is, which is awesome. And, um, and I, I just, you know, this for sure is for everybody, but for you gray hairs, you know, I, I want to I encourage you with, with this word today. And, and it is a good word. You know, my mind my mind is thinking about how sometimes, you know, as you get older, you know, the the nature of growing older in our culture is um, to kind of, to kind of, it's a slow fade, right? It's a slow fade. Everything kind of slows down. Family slows down. Uh, per, the professional world slows down. The way that it's set up in our culture is like, you, you know, you kind of take an off ramp from all the activity and the busyness and and then you move into something like retirement, you know, where you're chilling and you're fishing and you're golfing and, you know, you, you're bowling and, you know, whatever, you're <laughs> playing cards. I don't know, all of that stuff. And I'm not saying that's necessarily bad, but I'm reminded of a Def Leppard song, you know, and, um, you know, where they say something like, it's better to burn out than to fade away. And... Um, I'm not really for either, I just want to let you know, but I think sometimes like the slow fade is um, we, we, um, I think that we accept that that is the way uh, our future as we get older is supposed to be, just kind of a slow fade. Uh, and I don't want that for my life. I, I don't know, I don't know if you want that for your life, but but I don't, I don't want that. I, I think, honestly, as a Christian, that it should be the opposite, right? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you why I think this. Um, because we aren't fading away into nothing. We are, we are day by day getting closer to being in the eternal presence of God. We're getting closer and closer to the finish line. <laughs> it's kind of like this. When you're running a race, and you see the finish line, the closer you get to the finish line, the more incentive you have to run harder. It, it's not the other way around. It's not like you slow up when you see the finish line. You know, if you're really running to, to win the race, which is what Paul says, like we're not, we're not running not to win. Everyone who runs, runs to win the prize. And so the thing is like, as you see the finish line getting closer, it is an incentive to run harder, not to, not to slow up, not to take the off ramp. And you know, you can think, well, you know, I mean, God really works in the young people, not the old people. I don't know what Bible you're reading because I, I mean, I see both. I see Daniel, Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, for sure. I see John, the, um, the, the disciple of Jesus. I see Mary and Joseph, no doubt. I also see Moses. I also see people like Moses and Abraham and Sarah. And I mean, it is a long list of people that God used well into their old age um, who pursued God with all of their hearts because like the Bible says, you know, God saying to his people, I will carry you. I will carry you to gray hairs. You know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't stop being present. He doesn't stop carrying. 
Um, the reality of our mortality doesn't decrease as we get older, it increases. And we have that sense, not just for ourselves, but we have that sense for other people around us, right? Time is ticking. The number of heartbeats that we have is incrementally decreasing. We know that that's the case. I mean, for sure, our life is a vapor. It could be gone any moment, but as we age, there is no doubt we daily are closer to seeing our maker. And so, man, I, I, wanna, I wanna encourage you, especially those of you who um, you know, are, are up there in age, I'll let you define that. Press in hard, press in hard. God is the one who's carrying you. He's gonna carry you all the way through. He made, he will bear, he, he will carry, and he will save. Finish strong, finish strong. Don't like, don't just think, hey, I'm just gonna retire and get off the grid and you know, disappear. It's like, how are you gonna fulfill the great commission if you do that? So pray that through today. Let God speak that to your heart. And then I want you to send this devotion. I want you to send it to another gray hair, you know, somebody up in age that can just really be encouraged that God is not done yet. Have a good day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.